this was the first time where in a circumstance like that, rather than just accept the arrest, the people started protesting. Living as a lesbian, it was a very difficult and punishing existence. We were uh, followed on the streets, threatened, names were called. You always felt that danger was present. You could be arrested. Normally people, people were separated in a raid. I had been in a raid myself once, and because I appeared straight acting to the officers, I was told to get out of the bar. All the men that were effeminate in the bar, they were lined up for arrest. Many uh, women who were arrested in raids on lesbian bars were raped. Of course, we never talked about that, but we all knew it was possible. You could be killed and probably people wouldn't care. This was the first time where, in a circumstance like that, rather than just accept the arrest, the people started protesting. <laughs> could see a crowd gathered out, outside the bar. When they started to bring the customers that they had arrested out of the bar, people started throwing coins, collecting uh, garbage out of the trash cans, and uh, one person managed to take a park parking meter out of the ground. I didn't really do that much. I, I did a lot of yelling. Uh, I did a lot of running. The police chased us around and around block after block. I was there all seven nights of the of the disturbances that occurred. People actually heard about the riot as it was happening and, and started arriving. I'd say initially there were like 75, 100 people and then it grew to uh, thousands. It was thrilling, but it was terrifying. Oh, it's tremendous. One of, one of my friends from the march, uh, Bob Kohler, we were, we were mo so moving that day that he said, instead of a march, we should have called it a run. <laughs> we had to march on half of the avenue. The other half cars were coming toward us. Any one of those cars could have swerved you know, uh, and killed somebody. We were frightened. That's why we ran. Both the excitement, the energy of excitement and the energy of fear propelled us uptown. <laughs> and... Uh, we all went to Central Park and we had a gay in where we sat and embraced and sang and, and there we were, like thousands of queer people out in the open saying, as one of the signs that um, a lesbian carry, we are your worst fear, we are your best fantasy and here we are. Third World Gay Revolution came out of gay, uh, gay Liberation Front and they wrote a position paper, what we want, what we believe, that included 16 demands for a just society, including the right to our own bodies, the right to change our gender at will, the right to be free of military service, quite different than the right to want to be in the military. Uh, economic justice for all, education for all, the uh, right of people of color to be free from racism, and on and on. It would, it, if today those um, 16 points are revolutionary, if they were followed, they would change the entire world. And that was really what we were about. We were not gonna hide our difference, we were going to use our difference to have justice not only for ourselves, but for everyone.